Hi hello welcome back to Max Ninjas myself Femi Bijoy today we are going to discuss question number 3 exercise 6.3 question number 3 says that find the square root of 100 and 169 using the method of repeated subtraction so we have studied two methods do you remember that repeated subtraction method and prime factorization method for what for finding the square root of numbers now they are asked to use repeated subtraction method do you remember what is repeated subtraction method repeated subtraction method is based on the concept that every square number can be expressed as the sum of first and odd natural numbers one more condition it should start from 1 First we are going to find the square root of 100 for that I am going to write down some numbers numbers means starting from 1 and it should be natural and one more thing it should be odd 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 17 19 21 etc now we are going to use repeated subtraction method for finding the square root of 100 for that write down 100 then 100 minus 1 equal to 99 then the answer 3 should be subtracted from the answer then answer is 96 then 96 minus 5 next odd natural number is 5 that is 91 then 91 minus next number 7 that is 84 then 84 minus next number 9 84 minus 9 75 then 75 minus 11 64 then 64 minus 13 answer is 51 51 minus next number 15 36 then 36 minus next number is 17 19 then last number is 19 19 minus 19 equal to 0 now we are going to find out how many odd natural numbers we used for getting this zero See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We use ten odd natural numbers. That means hundred can be written as ten the square. That is square root of hundred is ten. So we can write down. square root of 100 equal to 10 now we got the answer for finding the square root of 169 again i am going to write down the natural odd numbers starting from 1 that is 21 then 23 etc so 169 minus 1 that is equal to 168 again 168 minus next number is 3 that is 165 then 165 minus 5 that is 160 then cut this Then 
Next number seven. One sixty minus seven. That is one fifty three. Then cut this. One fifty three minus nine. That is one. One forty four. Then one forty four minus eleven. One thirty three. Then one thirty three. Next number thirty. That is one twenty. Then one twenty minus fifty. Next number is fifty. That is one not. Five. Then one not five minus seventy. That is eighty-eight. Then our next number is ninety. So eighty-eight minus ninety. Sixty-nine. Then sixty-nine minus twenty-one. Forty-eight minus twenty-three, that is twenty-five. Then twenty-five minus our next number is twenty-five. Twenty-five that is equal to zero. Now we reach the answer zero. Next we are going to count how many natural odd numbers we used for getting the zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We used thirteen odd natural numbers. So we can write down. What was the range? We are asked to find the square root of one sixty nine. For that, we used repeated subtraction method, and by using that method, we got thirteen square equal to. One sixty nine, or we can write down square root of one sixty nine equal to thirteen. Both are correct. But in this case, you should write down the answer like this. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt about this question, directly ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe and support me. Signing off, Amy Bijoy from Maths Ninjas.